countdown. Are we ready? We're ready. Three, two, one, go! Well, it looks like it's had some problems getting out of the gate. The, uh, this is the fifth time this robot's competed, and it's basically made out of spare parts. Uh, it has baby uh, carriage wheels for the uh, for the wheels. It has a uh, ketchup container to catch the rice. The, um, it uses ultrasound in the front to detect any kind of flat surfaces. And it has a uh, around the bot bump sensor just in case something else misses on it. It's kind of a tethered pass. The first year it competed, it had a very heavy laptop, a little mini laptop, and it went about six feet, and then the motor started on fire because the smoke started building out of the robot. So um, the next year it was moved to a microprocessor and did much better, and it won first place in, in the year 2000. Uh, this year it's basically the same model, just with some minor mechanical enhancements. I'm really impressed with the number of blinking lights on it. That's something Roomba could use a lot more blinking lights. Yeah, I know all the other robot guys don't own it. Now, what kind of sensing does it do other than bump sensing? It has four ultrasonic uh, sensor right in the front. And uh, it turns up against the head for that wire, Frank. You know, that wire has killed your robot before. We have a, a wire for the lamp, which is one of our natural obstructions that is taken out for robots that you can imagine. How are we doing on time? Less than two minutes left. So we have an opportunity to do a little fine tweak, uh, maybe adjust the program, change some springs, or just take a small prayer to do better the second time around. And the, uh, the best of the two heats is what is the final score for each robot. I want to mention our next mini sumo will be two bit versus two picks, rather, two picks versus a uh, Ryoki. And that will be after our open competition. Actually, up next is a uh, coffee can. After coffee can will be two picks. I don't know if you can see from the hands, but 